Welcome users. This A Canton explains the basics of table creation method using open office freeware. See database designing includes various stages. The first step you have to create your own table. Let me show how to define the tables in OpenOffice base application. You are watching the OpenOffice version 4. Of course, this is the latest version you are watching. We are going to create one sample database for practice purpose. Observe the screen and follow up the steps which I have used in table construction. Here you have to define the database name. I as a new name and save it. Now the options will be loaded. Select the table which is available in the top part. There are three options available to design your own table. I select the option design view. See the wizard option is also there. If you go through the wizard, the predefined fields are there but you must be familiar to handle the fields because the predefined fields uh, contain uh, label names and the uh, length of the field everything is already prefixed so you have to modify it according to your own demands so i am using the creation part using the design view of course here we can define our own fields see for some of the sample fields I have selected for practice purpose, some simple fields namely the access number, title, author, publisher, place of the book details. Of course, you know they are called as the bibliographical fields of the document. Each and every fields and its length need to be carefully identified. So you need to uh, practice and you need to learn the fundamentals behind the fields and the length of the field. Unnecessarily you should not define a long length for any field. For example, for access and number, if you put a handle in length, it would not be necessary. So you must know the length and its requirements. I have created some fields. I assign a name for this table. Save it. You can view the table in the output form. See the create table which I have created is displayed. If you open it, you can find the blank row and columns. See the table which includes the fields. The fields help us to create the records. Of course, the combination of various fields create the records. In the record, see, we are going to feed some data. As we do not have any data entry screen, here I show the data entry format here I have entered directly the data into the table. Of course, I am accessing the table without data entry form. See, handling the table directly need expertise. 
because the data in the screen will give you a lot of validations. Here you won't get any help. You are on your own. So where the errors would be committed, you must be aware of it. Suppose if any errors are occurred, you should know how to solve it. Say I enter a few records. The access number one is already entered, and access number two, I'm entering C. You are observing one error message. This is caused because of the duplication of access and number. See, the primary key option will not let us to agree the duplication. The unique queue ID need to be maintained. For sample purpose, I entered the same access and number. That's why the error is occurred. Now I remove the repetition. See, the primary key can be alerted wherever the field demands. You should not use the primary key for the title or author in this context. In the bibliographical details of the document, the ID needs primary key. So, you, you should learn the basics. Then you can easily understand. I entered the third record. The typographical error should not be occurred. Each and every area you need to be very careful. The uniqueness in data entry need to be maintained. Standardization. The typographical errors will not help you to access the right data. See, you have successfully created the table along with the three sample records. The option helps you to view the table. See, this part will not help you to edit. You are viewing the table format along with the entered data. See, three records we have entered. So, this is a simple table, of course. In the real time, if you want to create a table, you need to define various fields. But here you have learned the basics. When you go through again and again, you can build a good table for your own library. You can maintain your books detail, magazines, members, transactions, everything you can maintain. Hope this will be helpful to you. Don't forget, practice makes you the best. Wish you all the best.